guys want to each introduce yourself and maybe say what your role is at your company? I'm Diego Guerra. I'm the current uh, creative director for Alebrije Studios. I do the gameplay. Okay. I'm Gabriel Ortiz. I'm basically a level designer um, and one of the artists and basically a general workhorse kind of guy. <laughs> My name is Miguel Olvera and I work as a CEO and a little do a lot of, of programming at the company. Yeah. Okay, all right, very cool. And um, do you want to talk a little bit about the game that you guys are working on right now? Yeah. Uh, right now we're working on, on several projects. One of them is Microbiotics, which is a casual shooter game. It just uh, like match colors along with the lines of, of casual shooting. So it's kind of like a combination of two kind of opposing genres but it's yeah. it's kind of interesting when you have also the multiplayer experience um, and where did you guys draw inspiration for this game well we, we basically draw this inspiration from all the experience we have well most of the guys of the company they're hardcore gamers so we pretty much have been uh, getting all this feedback out of, of these games and look we're trying just to create our, our, our own games and, and try to give those experiences back to the people and it's pretty much basically is our experience already Okay. Very cool. And um, what type of format do you guys put your games on? Is it more like PC based or consoles? Or well, we have been working uh, pretty much a lot with PC and Mac, but we, right now we're expanding our our projects into iPhone and mobile mobile devices. We probably this year we're gonna start working for some some titles for the Android, and we also have a little bit of, of uh, web based games for for back home in Mexico. All right. Very cool. Um, so you guys are not stationed here. You guys um, have your studio in Mexico. Yeah. Do you deal with pirating or anything like that? Because I, you know, like I said, I know in Brazil that's kind yeah. of an issue. I guess right now there's a lot of pirating out there, but uh, our projects right now, they are not that into people. So we're not, we're not facing that, that problem right now. Pretty much that like big publishers and, and big, uh, big players on the market, they, they do have a lot of that. Right now, a lot of a lot of the measures they took by by the, by those players, they're working pretty pretty good at at, at uh, evading the piracy. Yeah. Basically, I think what he's trying to say is that our product is still kind of like um, small enough that we don't really have to deal with piracy as well, and it's really an advantage when you're kind of an indie developer at at the stage. Uh, how has uh, the GDC experience been for you guys? Uh, it's been a very good experience. We enjoyed the show and. Regards the the piracy, we just want people to. We're we're in a point where you just want people to to see our games. Mm -hmm. So we have been walking around, talking to people all around the the world. So we're excited that that our idea go, goes goes across. Yeah. So yeah, we 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 enjoy the the show. It was an amazing show. Also, the all the lectures and summits have been awesome, and all the all the all the networking, the talking to people. I mean, if you're into games, you need to to be here. Well, definitely, basically what we have been doing is just walking around, showing our games to a lot of people, and really getting the feedback that people have experienced from our games. It's really rewarding. You, you get to see like how people get to like really get into the game and stuff like that, and it's, it's really rewarding to see that kind of experience where all your work is, is really paying off, at least at the experience level. Yeah. Well, yeah, for us, well, pretty much we, we came here with, with def very fixed objectives to get people in touch with our products and also try to find like a, a, a like a, an opportunity to get a publishing deal and to get our products out there. I think that GDC has been very rewarding to us. Like we had like amazing uh, experiences meeting people, meeting you guys here, and well, all the big players around there. It's pretty hard to get in touch with with this type of type of events in back in Mexico. So so we had like a great great experience back here. That's great to hear. Um, as far as feedback goes, have you guys already? found some like new ideas or problems that you might have come across that you didn't think about at first? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's okay. actually something we were talking about earlier. Like some of our games that we've been used to playing them so much at, at home and like the our close friends or whatever have already played them a lot. Yeah. So everybody kind of knows, knows the game, but when you show it to the fresh people like that they haven't touched it at all, you see the like a lot of new problems that you have to deal with and lots of things that you have to fine tune a bit. I would say definitely come to GDC. It's a, it's a completely radical experience. You get to see like all, what everyone else is doing. You get to see the awards. You get to go to a, a ton of different talks and conferences that really, really help your your entire experience and your probably your your career as a developer will get a lot better after 
coming to this event.